Okay, so let's give you guys some practice now. So similar to the previous video, but instead of x, it will be x squared. So somehow integrate this. Now you could use uh, you could use u substitution because this is exactly the same as this. You can say let u be x squared, let u be x squared. But then this dx would be really would be really ugly, and and it, it will become very difficult to uh, to actually integrate this. So rather than use u substitution, we should use trigonometric substitution. So do, um, well, somehow integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, your eyes should zoom into, into this bit here. And then create a triangle in such a way that, uh, that this will be true. So if you, um, if you make the hypotenuse to be x and, and make this, make the adjacent to be 2, then, then the opposite will have no choice but to be x squared minus 4. And then later you can extract this this x minus uh, this root x minus four. But um, when you come to do this for yourself, uh, you can never remember whether to put the two here or to put it here. Now, if you put it here, it becomes a lot more difficult. Um, let, let me explain why. Hang on. So uh, so if you, if you do it this way, it would be a lot easier than if you were to do it this way because later on you, you're going to need to extract this square root thing. Now, if, if, you, if you draw it this way, as opposed to this, when you come to extract this, it will be a lot more difficult because you've got to use, uh, here you've got to use uh, cotangent. Whereas if you do it over here, then you can use tan. Tan's easier to work with than cotangent. And then later on, you, you're going to need to extract this x. So, um, so doing it this way, you're going to have to use, you're going to have to use uh, cosecant. But doing it this way, you simply have to use secant. So, so there's a difference between the two. One, you can use this. It, it, it will still work, but it will be a lot more work. Or you can use this. This method is a lot easier. This diagram is a lot easier. Well, let's let's stick with this diagram. Well, anyway, you've created your your eyes zoom into this bit. You should create a right angle triangle in such a way that this will be true. So make the hypotenuse be x. Make the adjacent to be two. Then the, the the opposite will have no choice but to be this. Now um, you 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 want to extract this somehow. Well, extracting that well tan will be this. So you can say tan theta equals opposite opposite over adjacent over adjacent. And then and then now you can extract this. So later you can put this into this block here. And then and then if you look at this um, uh, c uh, sec theta, secant theta would be this. So that would be hypotenuse over adjacent. So x equals this. Differentiate both sides. That would then give you this. Now you've got your dx. So you can put this into the dx. You can put it into the dx. That would then give you this whole thing here. Um, put this thing into here. Into here. That would then give you this thing here. And then, uh, well, if you look at x, x is this thing here. So here you've got x squared. So squared, so x squared will be four secant squared. So you can put this into here. So this whole thing here will then become this. Okay. So now, hang on. So now, um, now, now this will cancel out this. This two here will cancel out this two. Take the four out. That will then give you this. Merge these two blocks together. That will then give you to the power of three. So now use the reduction formula, which we've seen before. Um, so using the reduction formula, that will then take you to here. We've, we've done we've done this many times, so uh, so I'm, I'm assuming you can do it now. Um, use the reduction formula. That will then take you to here, uh, and then and then tidy this up. This times this. This times this. And and also um, we've we've. We've done this many times as well. When you integrate secant, secant um, theta, it will give you it will give you this thing here. So I'm 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 expecting you to to uh, to know this. So when you integrate this, it will it will give you this. Now if you don't understand this step, then track back to one of the early videos. So anyway, to, if you integrate this, it will then give you this. But then, so uh, so from this whole thing here, that will then take you to here. But the thing is, we don't want the answer in terms of theta. We want the answer in terms of x. So going back to our diagram, going back to our diagram from above, from above, 
Um, let's translate this whole thing here. Secant theta. Well, secant theta is uh, is x over two. So you got so this block here will then become x over two. And then let's translate this. Tan theta. Tan theta is is um, this thing divided by this thing. It is this thing divided by this thing. So um, so tan theta will then give you this block. Will then give you this block. And then let's translate secant. Um, secant will be x over two. Will be x over two. And then tan tan will be uh, opposite over this thing here. Opposite over this thing here. That will then give you this. So now it's just a matter of tidying up. So if you tidy it up, it will then give you it will then give you uh, this whole thing here. So this is your final answer. Okay.